Hey, this is Jonesy from Jonesy TV coming at you with a review for The Flash, uh, episode, season 2, episode 20, The Runaway Dinosaur. Basically, in this episode, Barry got zapped into the Speed Force, the previous episode. We thought he might have died, but he really didn't, and he basically, the Speed Force challenges him, and they're trying to get him to accept his mother's death the whole episode, and they, so they go to the grave of his mother. He actually has a chance to talk to his mother again. And there's a very emotional scene where she's reading him the book, uh, The Runaway Dinosaur. And, you know, normally in an average show, I mean, it would be cheesy. It'd be, ter like, I don't know how to describe it. The Flash handles drama far better than Arrow, just overall. Like, The Flash, it, it held emotional gravitas this whole episode. Whereas if the Arrow writers would have written this episode, it would have just been a flop. The, the uh, I was very emotionally invested in this episode, and it was a very good episode, and it really attaches us as the viewer to Grant Gustin and his portrayal of The Flash and Barry Allen, and realizing that the whole reason Barry Allen hasn't reached his full potential is because he hasn't let go of his mother's death. And it's, it's really an intriguing episode, and it's very, very awesome. Uh, Kevin Smith directed this episode, and I mean, he killed it. This episode had everything, and it was cool how Iris led um, led him back in to their reality uh, through the tether, and I think that was great uh, to see Iris and Barry finally getting that sort of romantic subplot um, presented in a good way. And I think that uh, it was cool seeing Gerder come back. He was, of course, died in season one. We came back as a zombie in this episode. I just thought it was interesting and had some funny moments with it. And they could have gone a stupid route, but, I mean, they knew it was ridiculous. If they tried to play it serious, then it wouldn't have worked. But they made it seem a little bit ridiculous, and that's what made it good. And you see, The Flash, sometimes it never takes, it, it never takes itself too seriously. Arrow does that sometimes. The Flash doesn't. And The Flash shouldn't. I just think that the way they handled the um, girder villain this week is telling of the whole entire series you know there's certain villains where you just don't make them you don't take them serious they're, they're taken seriously but not in the way that arrow takes their villains seriously uh for example rachel ghoul in season three he was taken way too seriously even though he was a really lame villain and so the show is worse off for this but uh, just the whole girder conflict, I did enjoy it this episode too. Uh, so I'd have to give this episode a 9.5 out of 10. Again, a great emotional episode. A little bit of action, but mainly just Barry going through the speed force and dealing, and finally, you know, realizing that he can't save everybody, and then finally getting back. And it teased uh, the metahuman armies attacking the city in the next episode, which... Uh, it's sort of a letdown if you actually watch the next episode. You'll see see that in my review, but it was cool to see that at the end of this episode, that tease. So I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Remember to like and subscribe for more content. This has been Jonesy from Jonesy TV, signing off.